Good morning and welcome back. Today we have Medical Director for Atrium Health Living Children's Beverly Knight Olson Children's Hospital, Dr. Edward Clark joining us. Thank you for being here. Glad to be here. I'm excited. This week is a big one for kiddos across Middle Georgia. This is a great time for kids. That's right. This is Halloween. We are so excited for it, but there is a, there are a few things we need to talk about in terms of safety. And so what do you have for us today? Well, there's sort of three things. Uh, the kids need to have a great um, suit and, uh, and safe suit, great and safe suit, great and safe root, and great and safe loot at the end of the, end of the, end of the evening. All right, and so let's kind of break those down, the suit, the root, the loot. First off with the suit, what do you recommend for parents as we start prepping our kids' Halloween costumes? What do we need to know? Main thing is they, it just needs to be safe. They need to be able to see out of it. Uh, you know, we don't want them walking out in the middle of the street. We don't want them tripping over things and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. So safe, safe where they can maneuver uh, however they need to be. Uh, if you're wearing makeup and stuff, make sure it's not getting in the eyes or whatnot to cause red eyes, conjunctivitis, et cetera, like that. Uh, and just, you know, not too long, nothing that's going to trip over them. Uh, and then, you know, you want to be careful uh, in case, uh, you know, you want to have suits that are flame resistant and stuff like that. Okay. Now, in terms of root safety, what do you have for us there? Yeah, the thing about root is, one, you just want to go to a, a safe neighborhood. Uh, if you have older kids that you're going to send out by themselves, you know, you want to make sure they're going through, uh, you know, an area that is safe. Uh, and have a time that they're supposed to come back uh, to, you know, to meet back up and make sure, you know, everybody's going to be uh, safe. And when you're on your route, you want to make sure you're crossing at crosswalks. Uh, make sure you're not, uh, you know, going out uh, crossing the road where you're not supposed to be, you know, stay on the sidewalk, stay on the side of the road, et cetera, uh, you know, wherever you are. And just make sure you're safe. Be aware of cars, uh, you know, et cetera. All right. And lastly, the loot, what every kid looks forward to and all of us parents look forward to as well. Once the kids are asleep, why is it so important right. that we're you, being cautious of that loot? You want safe <laughs> and great loot is the, is the, is the end thing. But anyway, you know, kids, one, they need to have appropriate candy. If you've got small children, you want to make sure they're not choking on anything. So, you know, I remember coming back from uh, Halloween, back when I was a kid, we'd spread everything out. Mm -hmm. You know, mom would come through there and she would pick, you know, pick out what she needed or whatnot. Yep. But, uh, but anyway, you want to make sure, you know, avoid choking hazards. If you've got kids who have allergies or whatnot, you know, if you've got someone with peanut allergies, you might go through there, get the Reese's peanut uh, out, you know, get the peanuts out, et cetera. You know, if you have something special, you know, you need to watch out for that as well. And then uh, be careful with, uh, you know, if you have, you know, you really want to kind of avoid homemade stuff unless you really know who that is. If you go to grandma's house and she's handing you something homemade, then you know it's safe. But as a general rule, you want to avoid anything like that. Make sure wrappers are intact. Uh, you know, nothing's open or, or looks like it's been open and wrapped back up or anything like that. And I do think that's important, especially as a parent. Look at your kiddos candy. I know sometimes it's easy to be like, yeah, eat whatever as we're going, but right. you do need to inspect it before they're consuming it. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You want to be careful. That's right. Okay, so tell us one more time for folks watching. What are the three things they need to remember ahead of Halloween? You want to have a great suit. You want to have a great root, and you want to have a great loot at the end of the day. All right, and of course, these are safety tips to make sure that you and your family and your children are safe this Halloween. To find out more information on this, head on over to our website, 41NBC.com. Thank you so much for being here. You're very welcome. All right, stay with us. We'll have more news after the break.